Ladies and gentlemen, this is UX, and this is the true facts about the Alt by the channels of Frank One. Yeah, so Frank One is a great channel. You know, I love his uh, narrator voice, and then suddenly he drops a joke here and there. It's just funny. And sometimes I, I can't even hear him almost cracking out with laughter. You know, just just because a something sounds like a joke, it, that's funny too. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Look at their poses. The owls. It's, it feels like you know they're start, starting some kind of death metal band or something like that with black eyes. Yeah, I don't know much about owls. You know, but they're nocturnal, I guess. You know, uh, they have round eyes. Uh, they can turn their head uh, pretty, pretty at high degree, so they are really into some freaky shit apparently. So yeah, this, this is gonna be fun. I wrote quite a few, uh, you know, animal type of videos already from the Tier Zoo channel. Uh, check out the playlist I wrote for it in the cards. Uh, you know, uh, check out the playlist too, like CGP Korea Real Life Lore, Ori Sagashi Production Inter Historian. Yeah, I wrote some of Frank One videos too. Uh, check out the link in the description. They are there somewhere. I'm not ready to do that many, so I would create a playlist, but maybe in the future. All right, let's do this one. Here are true facts about the owl. Baby owls are called owlets, and they look like a cotton ball that grew a face and legs. Wait a minute, why does it sound? If, why does it sound different here? It sounds more like Morgan Freeman. Is he? Is he trying to sound like Morgan Freeman or something? This is an old video, isn't it? Okay. Owlets are born without flight feathers, and because they are vulnerable, they <laughs> camouflage themselves as muppets. This is the great. The owl has large front-facing eyes, which give it a wide range of binocular vision. Its eyes are nearly immobile in their sockets, and therefore it must swivel its head around its neck to see. Some owls bob their heads up and down in order to maximize their depth perception. Try it right now. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> I better not see that. I can only see that. Like, they're, they're making some kind of point. Like, mm hmm. <laughs> Focus on an object and bob your head up and down. That's right. Keep bobbing your head. It doesn't really work for humans, but you do look like an idiot. As there the owl go. grows older, it develops its flying feathers. And oh my, that's cute. <laughs> He's like a little baby. <laughs> he likes being pet. It's really the eyes, isn't it? It's adorable. Yeah. Oh, look, this one's pretty. Yeah, I love that eye. Look at that. Look at he those eyes. Being pet. <laughs> it's really the eyes, isn't it? It's adorable. Oh, look, this one's playing with his friend. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing to that bird? Crap, you're not playing with... Don't try to hide it. I already saw it. Despite yeah. its cuddly appearance beneath those fluffy feathers, the owl is what we call a bird of prey. Because it eats prey. Just as the owls call us apes of the hamburger, because we eat hamburgers. The owl is a specialized hunting machine. Its talons are zygodactyl, two in front, two in back, and their grip is the strongest of the raptors. 500 pounds per square inch, eight times stronger than the human. Wait a minute, did I miss something? Are owls considered raptors? What? The owl is a specialized hunting machine. Its talons are zygodactyl, two in front, two in back, and their grip is the strongest of the raptors. Five owl is a raptor? I didn't know that. Hundred pounds per square inch, eight times stronger than the human. Just for the record, this is why we wear a glove. They crush their victims, then tear off little strips before swallowing them whole, digesting them, and then vomiting out the bones and fur in a small pellet. And this is why it's polite to throw up at an owl dinner party. The owl is a quiet hunter. It has specialized feathers on the front of its wings that reduce turbulence and allow it to fly in relative silence. If silence were loudness, they would be the loudest flying bird. That's, that's <laughs> okay. a terrible metaphor. Yeah. The owl's face is basically like a giant ear. The specialized feathers of its facial disc channel sound to its ear holes like a fuzzy satellite dish. Oh, that's nasty. Yep, that's an ear hole. Many owls have asymmetrical ear holes. One is higher than the other. By sensing tiny differences in the delay and volume of sound as it arrives in each ear, the owl is able to create a three-dimensional auditory map of its surroundings. Try riding a... No way, really? Because of that difference, owl can basically, you know, detect the differences of the sound and create. Damn, that's some next level shit right there. 
bicycle at night and picking up a moving burrito with your feet based on the sound that it makes. That is how an owl do. When they aren't being quiet, owls make a wide variety of sounds. Perhaps the most famous of these sounds is the sound made Uh, by some owls. It reminds me of the fairy tale where a young girl is lost in the forest and she sees an owl and asks it, do you know where my mother is? And the owl responds, why the hell would I know where your mother is? Are you (laughs) stupid? And why are you fairy tale children always getting lost in forests and hallucinating about animals that can talk? And then the owl swooped down and ripped the little girl's face off and ate her eyeballs. And I knew, I knew the joke was, you know, the, the normal joke goes about the, you know, owl says, ooh, it uh, sounds like who, but I know he was, he's not going there because that would be the joke. So, <laughs> that was so good, man. <laughs> How the hell would I know? <laughs> and then the owl hooted. <laughs> it's a German fairy tale, so it's a little dark, <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe it's the translation. <laughs> nope, not the translation. It says right here rips her face off oh oh god there's even a picture just remember don't do drugs because an owl may that is true isn't it german fairy tales i mean wow for that hansel and gretel thing i mean uh, then hansel and gretel basically kills that witch or whatever and this is this is too strong for a you know children's fairy tale why would you tell that to children i mean that's just heavy I mean, I never realized that because when I was a kid, I didn't hear that, you know, uh, heard that uh, fairy tale when, you know, basically I grew up when I, when I was in my teens. I'm like, yeah, fine, it's a stupid fairy tale. But, you know, afterwards I realized that, wait a minute, telling that to children is a bit heavy, isn't it? May just rip your face off. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, it's a short one. All right, why why does he sound like that? In in his older videos, he sounds like Morgan Freeman. Damn, that is good though. I like this one. He sound like really Morgan Freeman, so you could imagine that Morgan Freeman is saying all these things. It would be so damn funny. Damn owl, yeah. I knew they were into some freaky shit, but yeah. I mean, not all owl sounds the same, uh, with the you know, a hoot hoot or whatever the sound is. But yeah, damn. All right, people, that was something. This was true facts about the owl. This channel is great, man. You know, these are shorter videos. It's uh, you know somewhat educational, and there are really some there are really some good point, facts he points out here. But the main thing is just the way he it makes jokes is just awesome. And all the jokes are based on what actually happens about animals. So these are real animal jokes. They are just awesome. Alright people, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe, check out the reaction I did, there's a link in the description, check out the castle, please check out the end cards and I'll see you next time.